Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and uh, today I'm going to try a little experiment with planting some corn. I watched one of my friends on YouTube uh, plant the corn this way and uh, I'm going to try it. I've never done it before and my garden's doing real good this year. I don't think I got the camera set up where you can see it very well but the garden's doing pretty good but I did not plant any corn. So if you can see this little area right beside my garden, I'm going to try that experiment right through here and plant me a row of corn and we'll just see how it turns out. And uh, there's a lot of noise in the background today. One of the neighbors is having a tree stump grinded down. So if you hear all that noise in the background, that's what that is. But let me get started here. Okay, the first step I'm doing is I'm going to take my weed eater and just cut all the grass down to the bare dirt as close as I can. Okay, I've got me a path down through there. And normally, I would take my tiller and I would till that up real good. But this time, I'm not gonna till. All I'm gonna do is, I'm either gonna use a sharp knife and punch holes in to plant the corn, or either I'm gonna use a spade. But let me go get something to start putting the corn in the ground. Okay, the corn that I'm gonna be using today, this is Pioneer uh, White Corn. And I planted this last year. It growed good, but it was not one of our favorite corns. But these are the only seeds I have this year. Uh, I would prefer to be planting some silver queen corn. But for this experiment, I'm going to use this corn right here. Hopefully you'll be able to see me. I'm just going to take, make a little cut. And I'll probably put two kernels in each cup. Just drop two down in there. Push the dirt back over. Now, that's what he did. And he says it works good for him. Now, I've got red clay, so my dirt is a lot harder. And I don't know how good it's going to work for me, but we're going to try and see. About roughly a foot apart. Hopefully, I can keep it sort of straight up through here. Okay, let me get the rest of these planted and I'll be back with you. Okay, I got this uh, row of corn planted. It's in the ground just a little over an inch deep. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and water everything down and get it nice and wet. And hopefully, as this starts to grow, I'll be able to take my riding lawnmower and drive right up through here between the garden and the corn and keep it cut pretty good. And I may have to do just a little weed eating in the middle until the corn gets big enough to take off. But if this experiment works, I'll be planting corn without doing any tilling. No tilling at all. Okay, I've got it wet down real good. Uh, we're not supposed to get any rain for the next 10 days. 
so uh, hopefully uh, it'll grow. I may have to come out here and keep it wet down several times, but uh, I'll keep you updated on this. I've got some more work I'm going to be doing in the garden today, so let me get over here and get started on this. This is the corn that I planted seven days ago. I planted it using the no-till method and it looks like all of them have came up and they're approximately three to five inches tall. I just got through watering them. Today has been about 92 degrees and the sun has really been cooking down on all of the garden today. But this is just a little quick update on the uh, corn that I planted with no-till. So uh, let it come on up a little more and I'll do the next update on it. Okay, as you can see, my lawnmower was able to make it down between the corn and the rest of the garden. And it was a tight fit, but it did just barely make it down through there. Okay, I just want to come out here and do another little quick update on the no-till corn. When I planted this corn, I put 21 holes in the ground and I put two kernels in each hole. So uh, when I came out here and checked it yesterday, every one of them had sprouted and I had corn in every one of the 21 holes. And I actually had two uh, corn plants and all of them except for two. So I went down through there and pulled the weakest plant out so that I've only got one plant in each one of the 21 holes. But then when I checked it early this morning, I see that one of them, for some reason, has died. So it looks like I'm gonna be stuck with only 20 plants of corn. But for this experiment, it'll be good to see how it's gonna work. When I pulled the one up beside it, I might have disturbed the roots and caused that one to die. Uh, that's not a big deal there, so I won't worry about that. But I just want to let you know that uh, when I checked it, it looks like they're averaging around 5 inches to 7 inches uh, tall right now. And the grass is starting to grow all up and down through there. So the grass may end up growing faster than I want it to. But on the day that I used the weed eater and went down through there and cut all that down. I did take a little bit of weed killer and went right around the edges to try to slow up the growth of the grass just a little bit. But I'm not going to use any weed killer since the plants have came up. Uh, I don't want to take a chance of getting any weed killer on my plants. But so far I'm pleased with it. Uh, my soil is a red clay soil so it is very hard soil. And actually, when I was pulling up the uh, extra plants yesterday to thin it out, they wouldn't pull it out of the ground by the roots. They were just breaking off at the top. So, uh, you know, that's how hard the soil is packed in there. And so I don't know if it's going to be able to get good roots where to continue to grow and get strong and make tall plants or not. But we'll keep an eye on it. I will be coming back and giving you more updates uh, as the corn does continue to grow. For right now, I just want to show you, this is what the corn looks like after 10 days. So thanks everyone that watched this video. I hope it helped you out a little bit. Uh, I was interested in it because one of my friends, uh, his channel name is Cranes and Regan, and I will put a link to his channel in the description of this video but he had planted some corn using the no-till method just like this and I found it pretty interesting and so I wanted to try it myself and see how it works. This summer I planted my entire garden 
uh, let me go here when you see it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but my entire garden was planted. I had mulched it out last year, and I did not till anything in the entire garden. Everything was planted just by making a hole through the mulch and planting everything, and it's doing pretty good. I do have some weeds that are starting to come up uh, in between the plants, and I am going to have to get out there and do a little weeding to try to keep those weeds out. But so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I won't know till the end of the year. We'll see how much uh, production we get out of the garden before I make a final decision. But just want to do you a little quick update here and let you know what's going on. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. We certainly do appreciate each and every one of our subscribers. And everyone have a blessed day. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see from up here.